in order to ensure that responsibility for more effectively marketing and supporting primary producers and others is at the heart of the government's industrial strategy. Michael, good afternoon and welcome to the Rural Business Conference. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. This morning we've seen some fantastic stories of collaboration with farmers, working with their partners, be it with supermarkets, be it with other farmers, with their neighbours or with their tenants. How important is collaboration going to be for farmers in the future? Collaboration will be critical for UK farmers in the future. We need to make sure that across the whole supply chain that we have the degree of collaboration which ensures that we can have the highest quality food, the best prices for the consumer, but also the best reward for those who grow and produce our food in the first place. And it's by collaboration across the supply chain that we can secure that. It's also the case, however, that if farmers collaborate within a particular landscape area, we can also secure the environmental gains that we all want to see. So collaboration horizontally across the landscape and vertically across the food chain are both integral to making a success of agriculture in the future. How important is it that farmers have the confidence to invest in their businesses in the future? I think it's critical that we give farmers confidence so that they can invest in the future. We all know that uh, farming is changing, not just because of the challenge of leaving the European Union, but because of other factors from global population change through to climate change, through to changing consumer expectations. So we need to have investment, particularly in technology, in order to be ahead of the curve. And it's my responsibility, along with other political leaders, to provide the right climate and environment for farmers to feel that they can invest with confidence. And what does that mean in terms of practical details? I think it means giving them as much confidence as possible that we have a plan to provide support in the future, that we will move um, at a, an appropriate pace towards a new form of support where public money pays for public goods, but we'll move in a way which ensures that people can have absolute confidence that levels of support they've enjoyed historically will continue to allow them to make the adjustments they need to make. What will be the role of farmers and landowners in the future? Well, I think that Tim Breitmeyer was absolutely right to point out that what we have to get used to is farmers producing more, probably on less land, with a greater investment in technology and above all a greater awareness, and it's already there, of the vital importance of ensuring that when public money is provided, it will be provided for public goods, environmental enhancement being top of the tree as it were, but there are other public goods as well, including public access and education that we want to be able to support as well. Finally, can I ask, what is your message to CLA members today? Um, I, I think that uh, CLA members are the most imaginative, idealistic and innovative people in farming at the moment. And I want to make sure that I can work with them in order to ensure that all the things that they're already achieving can be augmented and enhanced in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.